Hello everyone, it's Mark here. Thanks for coming along with us. We're leaving our camping site at Wenatchee State Park and we're going to leave the state park area and go get some drone shots of the lake. We're traveling from right side to the left side of the map there. Uh, there's no drone flying allowed inside of the state park so we're going over there where we can find a wide spot on the road and take off and fly. Wenatchee Lake is a lake fed mostly by glacier and s snow melt. Has a depth of about 244 feet, which is about the height that we're flying right now. That's pretty deep. Uh, the lake is sausage shaped, so it's like long, elongated, about five miles long. Lots of beautiful residences along the way. And on the eastern side of the lake is Wenatchee Lake State Park. And this is just a gorgeous morning to be flying drone around. There are bears in the area. And so while we're camping, uh, in the evening before we go to bed, we have to put all our food away in the car and lock, lock up the car and so that the smell doesn't attract them, you know, put the coolers and everything away. Well, last night we packed everything up, all our kitchen supplies, anything that would smell like food. We were very diligent, did an awesome job of putting everything in the car. Oh, and then we forgot one last item. So we went to the car and put that in and went to bed, right? Did everything just right. Well, when we got up in the morning, when I got up in the morning to take the dog for a walk, uh, the trunk of the car was open. So <laughs> we put everything away just like we should and, uh, and left the trunk open. Oh my goodness, it's like saying to the bears, come on, have, here's a meal just for you. <laughs> but no, nothing was touched. Everything was just the way we left it. So uh, we, uh, we got lucky, we were blessed and we got lucky, I guess. So that's an interesting story of what happened here. Now, I did mention that the lake is fed by glacier water and snow melt. And so uh, on the, my second day there, I tried to go swimming, but only got in up to my knees because it was cold. But the temperature of the air was over 100 degrees, about 107 was the forecast for that day. So it was a hot day and I wanted to cool down. But as soon as I put my feet in that water, oh my goodness, there was no getting in all the way. There were some brave people swimming, but I, I just can't take swimming in cold water. So that was as far as I went. I did dunk the dog in all the way, <laughs> poor dog, but she was... She was really hot, so she needed to cool down. And she did stop panting after that. She looked a lot more comfortable. Now, one of the reasons why I came out to fly early in the morning like this, because it's like, I think it's 7 or 8 a.m., is because it is going to get so hot in the afternoon. And and uh, the... It, the the drone battery would probably overheat. It's so my friend, Mr. Kent from mrkent.com. He flies this DJI Mini 2 drone in Arizona all the time. He flies almost every day, but he always does it early in the morning. His temperatures get just like they do here, over 100 degrees. So he only flies early in the morning, late in the evening. Uh, 
because of the battery overheating problem. So like I mentioned, we're camping here for a couple days, a long weekend, uh, along with some uh, people from our church. So there's about oh, three or four families of us that were able to make it out. We also had a Bible study and just a great time together. Okay, here I am coming in for a landing. You can see the tree line getting closer and closer. I just love the mirror image of this lake. It just mirrors the mountains and the sky perfectly. Well, uh, I really appreciate you watching my videos and uh, thanks for coming along with me. Lord bless you and I'll see you in another video.